Welcome to Go Explore. I'm Mark. And I'm Catherine. Today we travel to Big Sur, California. In this video, we will show you our top 10 sites to see in Big Sur all in one day. Our first stop of the day will be at Lily's Coffee House in nearby Cambria. They serve an assortment of coffees and teas along with a nice variety of pastries and breakfast dishes. Spend a few minutes outside on their bright covered patio while you finalize the last minute details of your Big Sur adventure. Just up the road from Lily's is the Hearst Castle. Conceived of by William Randolph Hearst and his architect, Julia Morgan, the Hearst Castle was built on the hills above San Simeon between 1919 and 1947. Today the castle is an art museum open to the public as a California State Park. There are various tours daily, but it's best to get your tickets online in advance. Our guided Grand Room tour was $30 and took two hours. As you arrive to the mansion, you'll pass through beautiful gardens and then pass three large guest cottages. Around the next corner is the spectacular Neptune Pool, which holds 345,000 gallons of water. From there, you enter the main house, visiting multiple enormous rooms, which were each used to entertain guests. The grand rooms, including the formal living room, dining room, pool room, and smoking room, are basically art galleries full of pieces Mr. Hearst collected from all around the world. Four miles north of the Hearst Castle on Highway 1 is Piedras Blancas Beach and the Elephant Seal Viewing Area. There are no fees or reservations required to enter the large parking area directly off the highway. Hundreds of elephant seals, which can weigh up to 5,000 pounds, blanket the beautiful coastline. They move along the shore by flopping on their belly and flip sand on themselves, which may protect them from the sun and help regulate body temperature. About 10 scenic miles up the highway is Ragged Point Inn and Resort. The resort is comprised of lodging, a restaurant, gas station, general store, and the trail to Ragged Point Beach. Originally an outpost of the Hearst Ranch, Ragged Point is perched high on a cliff top overlooking the rugged Pacific Ocean. The view from the Ragged Point Inn of the barren steep cliffs diving into the ocean below is called the Million Dollar View. The trail to Ragged Point Beach, which begins just behind the restaurant, is only a half mile long, but very steep with a 400 foot drop in elevation. Be sure to wear good shoes as the trail can be slippery in some areas. The views of the black sand beach below are incredible as you travel down the face of the cliff. If you are enjoying this video, check out our first Big Sur video by clicking the link below or at the end of this video. Heading further north on Highway 1, you will come to Gorda. Here you'll find full services including a coffee shop, restaurant, and general store. It's also the last place to get gas for the next 40 miles. Sand Dollar Beach is the largest unbroken stretch of sand in Big Sur. From the parking lot, there is a short trail leading to multiple short flights of stairs that end directly on the beach. This crescent-shaped shoreline is considered one of the best surfing spots in Big Sur. This shoreline gets its name from the multiple sand dollars washed up onto the sand. The park entrance fee is $10 and the beach is rarely crowded. We've always had the best time at Sand Dollar Beach. Let us know in the comments below what beach in Big Sur is your favorite. Pardoning Cove is a remote rocky cove in Julia Pfeiffer Burns State Park. There is parking along the shoulder of Highway 1. Look for this gate which leads down a short fire road towards the cove. The road splits into two trails. If you stay to the right, it leads to a beach where there are numerous large rocks. This is a great place to sit and watch the waves crash in front of you. On your way back, take the other trail, which leads you over a footbridge and then to a 60-foot tunnel carved through a rock wall. After passing through the tunnel, you will emerge on a trail along a ledge with a little wooden protective fence. The trail ends at Partington Landing, where there is a bench where you can watch the waves lapping against the cove's rocky ledges. The Henry Miller Memorial Library is a nonprofit arts center bookstore and world-class performance venue documenting the life of the late writer Henry Miller. The house was owned by a dear friend of Miller's, Emil White. After Henry Miller passed away in 1980, White dedicated the home to Miller's works. As Daniel, the very knowledgeable and enthusiastic manager noted to us, the library has 
not only a collection of books written by Miller, but also an ever-changing variety of works from other authors. The books are scattered inside on tables and shelves and outside hanging off the walls, and they're all for sale. Daniel likened the Memorial Library's eclectic collection to the grocery outlet of bookstores. We highly recommend stopping here to check out their library, grab a rare book, enjoy a concert, or add a dollar bill or two to their paper currency art masterpiece hanging from the ceiling. If, after a long day of exploring Big Sur, you're looking for somewhere to eat with a great vibe, great food, and a great selection of drinks, make your last stop of the day the Big Sur Tap Room. It's our top pick for restaurants in the Big Sur area. It is located just south of Pfeiffer Beach State Park. They serve excellent food, have great beers on tap, and have a good wine selection as well. You can sit inside, or even better, outside on the hillside patio where there's plenty of room to relax in an Adirondack chair with friends and family enjoying the evening. There is a unique and special place on the Big Sur coastline everyone should visit, but which takes special planning to see, and that's the Point Sur Light Station. It is the only complete turn-of-the-century light station in the state of California. Between 1899 and 1974, families worked and lived full-time in the buildings atop the giant rock formation manning the lighthouse on the Big Sur coast. If you want to take the light station tour, you must get in line at this gate on Highway 1 at one of two specific times. 10 a.m. on Saturday morning or 1 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon. The three-hour tours are limited to 40 people each and are available on a first-come, first-served basis. Our tour guide informed us that they turn away dozens of people each tour day during the busy season, so it's best to get there 30 to 60 minutes in advance. We highly recommend this amazing tour for all visitors to the Big Sur area. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, which will help us share this and other travel videos with you and others.